Hi, I'm Whitney from Eco Vegan Gal, and I'm about to show you how to make one of my favorite things for breakfast, which is green juice. It was inspired by Crazy Sexy Diet by Chris Carr, an incredible book that I'll talk about some other time. But in here, she has a recipe for something called Make Juice Not War Green Juice. And I kind of took that as a base and then ran with it a little and started adding my own things in it. Um, I was inspired because I was on a candida cleanse. And on the Candida Cleanse, you can't have anything sweet, including fruit. So this is a juice that is entirely green. There's no fruit in it at all, which at first seemed really weird to me because I thought this is going to taste disgusting and not sweet. But it actually tastes very sweet, a little spicy, and you can modify it to, you know, whatever you want to use. So this is my bucket full of green stuff. I'm going to give it a good rinse. This is all organic, of course. I just like to have fun with this, so I don't really have like a specific order or, or definite measurements. Um, however, there's certain things that I always use the same amount of, like uh, celery stalks. I always use two. This, by the way, is my Omega Juicer, which I absolutely love. I've had it for years. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's all plastic. Ideally, I would love to have a stainless steel juicer, but this one works really nicely because it doesn't have a lot of heat, so it retains all the nutrients of the vegetables or fruit that you put in it. And it can also do wheatgrass um, and pasta and nut butters. Next I'm going to use some broccoli, which probably seems really weird, like why would you put broccoli in juice? That's what I said at first, but it tastes great and it's obviously very nutritious. Just cut off the head of the broccoli. And then depending on your juicer, you might need to cut it so that it fits in. But I save the heads and then make something with them. So I'll make soup or I'll just uh, saute it or steam it. Next, some kale. I'm a very big kale fan. And it really just depends on what I feel like. But sometimes I put two, two pieces of kale in, sometimes a little bit more. And put the entire thing in. Next, some um, romaine lettuce. Again, I just kind of grab like a handful of it. One thing I love about juicing in the morning is <laughs> it takes a little bit of work, so it's a good way to kind of like get, get your energy out when you're stuffing everything into it. Next, cucumber. This adds uh, more liquid to it because not all vegetables have a lot of um, juice that comes out, so this makes a lot of juice and it gives it kind of a nice mellow taste. So I always use half a cucumber, it doesn't matter what size. Again, once you start making this juice, you'll kind of modify it to whatever works for you. One of my favorite things is fennel. I'm a big fan of licorice and fennel kind of has like a licorice taste. Um, it just kind of adds like this great flavor. Not everybody loves that flavor though, so you can you don't have to use it. And then some spinach. Nice raw spinach. Again, just look at all the nutritious foods that go into this juice. Great thing is, is that it's a really good way to start your day, but it would also be good post or pre-workout. So it'll just give you a ton of energy. And it's also um, very hydrating. Then I have some strands of parsley, which are great, very refreshing. It's also a natural breath freshener. It's another good reason to start off the day. And then ginger, which gives it a nice little kick. I just like to cut off a small piece about this size, but again, that depends on how much ginger you want. That amount will make it pretty subtle, actually. The last thing I put in is lemon. I usually put about this much in. A good slice there. Cut off the rind. Just take the seeds out. All right. Now, one thing I love about this juicer, one, is that it's pretty quiet. It's also incredibly easy to clean. People like to complain about cleaning juicers. This one is so easy. Um, if you have a garbage disposal, you can just kind of dump this remnants in here, or you can put it with your other vegetables, whatever easier. 
luckily I have a garbage disposal. And then I just kind of rinse this all off. If I have time, I'll give it a good clean. Otherwise, I'll, I'll kind of leave it soaking or something. And once it's clean, you just oops, put it back together. And that's it. I mean, it, it really takes like no time at all to rinse it off and not very long to clean it either. Then, with the, the uh, veggies that came out, some people like to use this in recipes. I actually haven't really developed any yet, but what is very important is I put it in my compost bin. I use an old coconut oil container and I just dump it in here. And I leave it in the freezer. That way it doesn't get smelly or um, attract bugs. And then I just put it in the green bin or the compost bin when it's ready. Now I've got this huge thing of juice. Again, the amount of juice you have will depend on how many vegetables you put in and how much of each. Put it in a nice glass, but I'm actually about to go out, so I'm going to put it in my clean canteen. This is the amazing Reflect clean canteen, which has no plastic on it whatsoever, so it's very eco-friendly. Got to get one of these. These are awesome. And now I can go off and start my day and bring my juice with me. You'll definitely have to try this one. It's really good. Visit ecovegangal.com for more information. And thanks for watching.